Most boat brokers will tell you they never cease to be amazed at the condition of some of the vessels they're paid to sell. Or will have tales of dirt encrusted exteriors and grubby interiors along with abandoned personal items which are clearly well used, unlikely to attract a potential buyer to say the least. So, if you want to sell your boat quickly and for the right price, you need to understand the different responsibilities of you as the owner and the broker as the seller. Although there may be some crossover, of course. Now, the broker's responsibility is to identify the potential market for your boat and to make sure that those buyers get a chance to learn about your vessel and all the plus points that led you to buy it in the first place. Now the broker will take photographs and possibly video to display your boat as well as possible and will produce a description taking in all the selling points that may attract potential buyers to your boat in particular. All of that information and those pictures will be used to target the right audience through advertising and social media campaigns. And the broker will probably also provide you with a free mooring for your boat whilst it's being sold and organise viewings of the vessel as interested people get in touch with them. Now an added, benef an added benefit of course is having your boat amongst others for sale as potential buyers may come look at one vessel and then spot another they like and that may be yours. What brokers don't usually do is to make your boat look as good as it can look. Although Norbury Wharf can give you a price for um, internal and external cleaning, uh, depending on the condition of your boat, but generally presenting the boat in the best possible way to get the best possible price is up to you. And it's essential that you do that before it goes up for sale. It's like selling a house. The estate agent will take the pictures and channel potential buyers to your door, but it's up to you what they see when they arrive. The outside should look cared for, that means no green algae on the paintwork or last year's mud splashes or even leaves. At the very least a good wash is essential and you should probably deal with any rust patches with a clean up and a few coats of paint. A bit of worn paintwork simply shows a boat's been used, a patch of rust tends to scream that it's been neglected. The interior is even more important and it may help if you understand a little about the impulsiveness of some buyers. At Norbury we've seen tens of thousands spent on a boat because a buyer fell in love with a bedspread she could have bought for £30. Now that's not an argument for pretty bedspreads but it does show how even small things can have a big impact on sales. The first thing is to clear all your personal possessions and that includes the ones you might be tempted to leave because you bought them to decorate the boat. I'm afraid one person's whimsical ornament is another person's horrible tat. Once you've cleared out anything not directly related to using the boat, the next item on the list is a thorough clean from bow to stern. The bathroom should sparkle and the galley should shine. The woodwork should gleam and there should be no grubby corners where years of grease have mingled with the dust of the towpaths. Buyers will look under sinks, in drawers, at the bottoms of wardrobes and they will sniff and rub their fingers on the surfaces. And now the engine and the engine room is another vital area which will also win or lose sales. Inevitably oil and dust build up with use and many a sale has been lost because the engine room is inches deep in water. Good advice is to jet wash the engine, pump out the bilges and ensure the stand stern gland isn't refilling them. Even a quick coat of paint on the engine room will create reassurance that this is an engine which has been cared for. And a boat that looks as if it's been cared for, no matter what its age, will always sell more quickly and for a better price than one which may have more going for it but has been left dirty, rusty and cluttered. Most boaters will keep a file of boat documents covering the original purchase, any surveys, servicing, boat safety certificates and the instructions and guarantees for any equipment they've installed. And this is an important selling tool, it shows how you've looked after the vessel. Of course, we know not every seller is in a position to clear and clean the boat before they sell it, 
So at Norbury, as I said, you can pass the work on to our skilled team of cleaners. We'll estimate what needs doing, how long it'll take, give you a price for the work. But whether you do it yourself or we help, you'll have a much better chance of a quick sale at a good price.